Hi, uh, I'm Calvin, and on behalf of my co-authors, uh, I'll be presenting I'll play on my other account, the network and behavioral differences of Sybils. Uh, background. So Sybils refer to multiple accounts a single user creates to interact with the platform. Other terms for Sybils have included alt or smurf. However, these terms carry connotations that imply certain relationships between the differing user, user accounts. So we settled on the term Sybil as a more flexible and holistic option to represent how users may represent uh, multiple accounts. As for why players use Sybils, uh, there are a variety of reasons. One is impression management. Sybils may be used for a user to have different experiences on a platform. Uh, multiple accounts may also be used to hide a user's identity or experimenting with different social circles. Uh, Sybils may also be used to exert extra influence on a platform by masquerading as multiple users. Uh, to look at Sybils, we looked at the massively multiplayer online vehicle battle game World of Tanks. And this project is part of a partnership with Wargaming.net, the Belarusian company that produces World of Tanks. Methods and findings. So as Calvin said, we were given a unique data set from Wargaming. Uh, this was anonymized data from their World of Tanks North American server. And they gave us this data in effectively three modalities. So the first is co-play data. Uh, this is a network of co-plays, which is a type of game that occurs inside of World of Tanks. This is a network. It has 455,000 players spanning 16 million games and 64 million co-play edges. The second modality is chat data. This is 63 million chat messages. And the third is warehouse data. Uh, these are behavioral features, things like the number of battles played, the experience points earned, and so on. Uh, this data is very exciting because it helps us to conduct three very interesting types of analyses. So the first is uh, network analysis. So how do Sybils impact the network? The second is looking at the chat content. How do uh, Sybils speak? Is it different from regular accounts? And the third is prediction. Can we predict what type of account uh, it is? And with that in mind, we'd like to introduce some nomenclature. So there are broadly two types of accounts. The first is uh, non-Sybil accounts. Those are those that are the sole account of a user. And the second is a Sybil account. That's an account that is part of a group of accounts of a user. Uh, within there, there are two subtypes. So there's the parent, which is the initial account in the group. And the second is the child account or accounts, which are the subsequent accounts in the group. So first, we looked at the network differences that Sybils introduce. Uh, what we did was we did a merge approach, where we merged Sybil accounts into a single meta node. So we compared the original network with this merge network, where all of the uh, Sybil accounts are merged into a node of a single account. Uh, what we found is that the number of nodes and edges go down, and that the, d the density of the network actually goes up significantly. Next, we looked at the chat. Uh, to do this, we looked at the broad themes of discussion. We did this through the lens of a topic modeling algorithm, LDA. What LDA does is it tries to identify themes of discussion by looking at groups of words that are more likely to appear together in a document. We took these 50 LDA topics that we learned, and we did some qualitative coding of them. So we wanted to see what groups are there and what groups do the topics fall into. Uh, we found that this reveals differences in chat characteristics among different topics. Uh, you can see some of the topic categories that we coded and some of the sample topics in the table below. Things like gameplay, hate speech, conversation, clan talk, and miscellaneous. Some civil related observations. Uh, we found that child accounts uh, focus on the game and less on relationship building. We also found that non civil accounts focus on different topics than children. Next, we tried to tie all of this together into uh, two prediction tasks. So we set up two supervised machine learning uh, problems. The first is whether or not a, an account is in a civil relationship. The second is, if they are, are they the parent or the child? And to do this prediction, we, did, we tried four sets of features. The first of those warehouse behavioral features. Then we looked at the ego network, the topic affinities, and we did a network embedding of that coplane network. We found that in both of these tasks, we were able to significantly uh, outperform a baseline, and that the warehouse and ego features are the most important uh, for this task, for both tasks. So key takeaways. In summary, uh, we looked at the network implications of Sybils for behaviors and machine learning prediction. Such insights can be applied in both industry and research contexts. 
Within game design, simple detection can be a way to incentivize players to experiment with other rules and leverage their experience in a system. Game designers can also expand the privacy management options to accommodate the varied social circles of Sybil users. Within analytic contexts, Sybils provide a lens for analyzing networks on a more holistic user level as opposed to an account-based level. And with that, that concludes our presentation. On behalf of my co-authors, I would like to thank you all for listening, and I would like to thank Wargaming.net for collaborating with us on this project.